Today's topic is all about book synopses. If you've got five minutes, I've got five tips to help you write a better one. Today's episode is really for people writing long form. That means a book length manuscript, whether it's fiction or nonfiction. So if you have already written one or are in the process of writing a book, you've probably heard people talk about the notion of a book synopsis that you're going to need at some point in the whole process. Today I'd like to explore what a book synopsis is, why you would need one, and a few tips about writing one well. Let's make sure we're all on the same page and we all understand what a book synopsis is. And let's begin by looking at a definition of the term synopsis. Have a look. A synopsis is a brief summary or general survey of something. A synopsis is a condensed statement or outline. So what are the common elements in these two definitions? Let's have a look. The important words are condensed, brief, and summary. Get those in your head. Brief means short. That's sort of imprecise. Condensed is an important word because it means reduced in size from its original. And summary means that it succinctly includes all the important points of the original. So here's my definition for a book synopsis. A short summary of the entire book covering all important points including the ending. Having a synopsis of your book can be very useful for you. Obviously, you can't write the synopsis until you've finished writing the book. And you need to keep in mind that normally you're writing a book synopsis for a potential agent or an acquisitions editor at a publishing house. It is not written for readers. And as a result of that, it needs to include the beginning, the middle, and the end of the book. And obviously, if you were going to write it for readers, you would not want the ending of a book, particularly a novel, to be included in material that they would read before they read the book. But what if you plan to self-publish? Do you need a synopsis at all to send to people? I'm going to suggest to you that you do. And part of that is because if you have a complete book synopsis written, after you've written your book, it's going to be easier for you to write things like online ad copy and blurbs for your book. So keep that in mind and consider the possibility of writing one, even if you're not going to try to shop it to an agent or a publisher. So here are my five tips. Tip number one, understand that a synopsis is a summary. It is not ad copy or back cover blurb. As I mentioned earlier, a synopsis is not meant to be a teaser for potential readers. It's not even really meant to be a teaser for an agent or a publisher because they need to have all of the information about your book in order to see if they actually want to read the whole thing. So the point is, it is meant to tell the whole story, just condensed. Tip number two, remember that your audience is agents and editors, not end users. As I mentioned before, and I'll reiterate again, this is not for readers. As a result of it not being for readers who will read your book eventually, it is to be written in the present tense. Tip number three, use the who, what, when, where, why, and how framework to write your synopsis. This is going to ensure that you cover all the bases that you're going to need for your audience. Tip number four, if you're writing fiction, your synopsis should follow the trajectory of the main character. Don't get bogged down in supporting characters or subplots. Stick to the main trajectory through line of your main character. Tip number five, keep it short and succinct. Now, short and succinct is a little bit imprecise. And this can be a challenge for you. How do you keep a complicated story or a complicated nonfiction book succinct and short? And still cover all of the high points because all of those have to be covered for the agent or a publisher. Well, the fact is that's kind of the general rule, but what that means varies. For example, Writer's Digest suggests that the synopsis be one page for every 35 pages of manuscript with a maximum of eight pages. That's actually a pretty long synopsis. As far as I'm concerned, unless it's a true epic novel, you probably want to keep it shorter. And many 
agents and publishers suggest that you keep it to two to three pages. Now, of course, I've mentioned a lot of things that have to do with fiction, writing fiction and writing synopses for novels. But if you're a nonfiction writer, an agent or a publisher is almost surely going to want a synopsis as part of a book proposal. So learning to write one and being able to talk about your book to these people in this kind of a summarized way is extremely important. And I always say, as I used to say to my students that I taught for 26 years at university, take your very best writing and condense it. It's a really good writing exercise. Talk to you soon. Subscribe to Write, Fix, Repeat. And maybe I can help you improve your writing knowledge and skills. Five tips at a time.